Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. We're doing another product review of a whiskey, somewhat local. It is a Northwest whiskey, uh, Whidbey Island Distillery. Uh, it's north of Seattle, about an hour and a half, eh, about two hours, depending on traffic up the I-5. They have a little distillery up there. A uh, little shout out for one of the distillers, Mike. You're awesome. And Jacob, you guys uh, gave me a tour when I was over on the island not too long ago. Um, showed me the distillery, showed me your still, um, some of your mash tons. And you guys just, you took some time and spent some time and showed me around and everything. And it was awesome. So uh, it's just such a neat community, all the local distillers and everything out there. They're so personable and friendly and, and prideful of their product. And that still that you guys have is incredible. I've never seen anything like it. It was, it was impressive. I haven't either because um, I haven't seen it. No, so it's it's going to be a trip someday. It's not that far away, so go over there and check it out and visit Mike and Jacob and them again. So this is their rye whiskey. It is <clears throat> unique in the fact that I believe it's like 11 months old. It's super super young which would tend to be very grainy and young tasting and it may be but they the unique thing that these guys are doing over there at Whidbey Island Distillery is they're adding these toasted oak staves into the cask and the casks that they're using are used casks but they're enhancing their flavor profile by adding uh, toasted oak staves into the cask. I believe it was like 45 to 50 staves per cask and then they let them age whatever it is 11 months or so. It's it's a very short short period of time and so initially I was like mm, man I don't know what to expect with this but it is surprisingly pretty decent whiskey for such a young young whiskey 11 and months that's crazy yeah and you know the guys are so passionate about what they do they just want to <coughs> create a, a a unique product it's local Whidbey island distillery they also have a bunch of liqueurs i brought one home their blackberry liqueur it's rated like 98 percent. it's winning all kinds of awards um, they told me it makes a great Manhattan. I'm going to be trying it in a Manhattan here coming up pretty soon. Maybe we'll do a review of that too. Um, but it was just neat meeting uh, local distillers and them being so personable and just opening their doors. And I was there like an hour and a half. And if they hadn't got busy, they I know the guys would have spent even more time with me um, showing me around. So that in and of itself is worth uh, an incredible shout out and thank you guys for that yep um let's see let's take a nose on it and it smells young <sighs> it does smell young it's got that young smell a little honey mm -hmm. it's a rye but it doesn't have that strong rye spice of an aged rye <clears throat> no um, josh has never tried it i tried it in the distillery so this is a legitimate for rye, know. it's got sweet. Yeah, sweet it is. And uh, the Whiskey Biscuits, <laughs> those guys did a review of it. Oh. And uh, <clears throat> um, it was shipped out there to them by another buddy of mine I met over there. Uh, he shipped them a bottle because he's part of the tribe, the Whiskey Tribe over there. And they actually gave it a very favorable review. <laughs> Interesting. It's got a good nose for a rye. It does. It's it's unique in the flavor, in the way that all those toasted oak staves, I think they, it's not a typical rye. No. Well, at least on the nose, it's not. There are those young, that young grainy characteristic. Yeah. It's got sweetness it's to it. sweet. Yeah. And. Mm, interesting. It's pretty fast and leggy, um, which would mean, you know, it's. Probably not super oily, but we'll see how it lingers on the palate. Yeah. Hmm. 
Give it a try. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. That young flavor is definitely dominant. But it's not. But. Wow. <laughs> what do it's you think? Like, tastes like candy corn. <laughs> Super sweet. Isn't that weird? That's really weird. It's not bad. <clears throat> it, it, you can taste the youngness, but it's not like that punch of those young. <coughs> you get those like right. bourbons that are, you know, just at two years yeah. or whatever. And they're just grainy mm -hmm. and they're not just not this like this taste to me like a whatever they're doing before it goes in the barrel is definitely good right their mash bill like is if this good. sat in a barrel for a long time i bet it'd be incredible and on a good note they are aging stuff they have some barrels aging <laughs> their rye now they're not making any wow. bourbons right now but they have rye whiskey in barrels that they're going to push out to some time limits so I'm really curious to see what kind of um, flavors those rye come out when they age. With they have some age on them. It's got van like a lot of vanilla. Yeah. Like I said, it's like a candy. That corn. candy corn is a really good descriptor. It's just super sweet and but young but good. That's a pretty good whiskey. I know. I was, I was expecting much worse. <laughs> You for would 11 be at months. 11 months. But like or... you said, he he went there and he was telling me like just even the schematics of their distilling process is different than most. And, than most stills, And yes. they, so whatever they're doing, I think it's it's elevated as far as right. the beginning process, mm -hmm. you know. Not that the old school way is bad by any means because <coughs> of course we love that. Right. Ooh. And Oops. Their and, stills uh, are set up at such a unique where they capture the right amount of tails in their hearts run and it's all temperature correlated yeah. and it That's just crazy. blew me away i mean the founder of Whidbey island from the story is a retired rocket scientist so he's somewhat a pretty smart guy and then he's in partnership with his son who is a software mm -hmm. engineer so mm -hmm. they and they they design the computer programs that control the temperatures from the still so as the vapor condenses and condenses at different temperatures so they get the flavor profile consistently that they want how much was that bottle uh it was 70 80 bucks oh really uh, wow. you know maybe not that high i think i walked out of the store with both bottles with washington with washington tax so a hundred dollars um, for every bucks. dollar so yeah it was <laughs> <coughs> it was a little spendy um huh so I wouldn't expect to pay that much for it. You know, I wish I could remember. I should have wrote that down. Um, I, mean, I think it's it was good. 50, 59 95 or something like right. that. And then the other was 30 something You have a ridiculous taxes on it. Yeah. Um, pushing That's it up right. to about 109 bucks out the door for two different spirits. <clears throat> uh, but it, it's, it's not it's not a it's a little spendy for a new young whiskey. But, you know, you got to give some craft distillers some kudos, I guess, because yeah. they're, they're trying. They're, they're authentic. They do not source. We had a long conversation about sourced whiskeys. I'm not going to hate on any of the companies out there that, that do produce their whiskeys and they source it from like MGP, uh, Miss Midwest Grain Products out of Indiana. They make great whiskeys. Their products are incredible. But like uh, Mike was telling me, he's like, we want to produce a whiskey that's our whiskey. We don't want to source it with someone else and then try and match that flavor profile. So we want to be authentic and, and honest with our consumers. This is what we produce. Yes, it's young. Give it a try. Here's what we've done to give it some age and give it some flavor profiles. And it's our product. It's not sourced. And, you know, I got to respect that. Yeah. Because I told him that's kind of the way we feel, too. Um, if you have a sourced whiskey and it works for you and you can match the profile when your product's ready to come to market, that's good, but that's a, that's a tough thing to fill. Yeah. Well, and you know, aging whiskey obviously takes time. So if you're going to make it, yeah. you're not going to make any money for a long time. How you're do you not. afford to live? Right. You know? so I get, I get the sourcing. Share. It's not, like you said, it's not a horrible thing. <laughs> no. Nope. Having your own 
There's is a lot of much group. better. I yeah. think even the people that source it would you know prefer to have their right. own. It just takes a while until mm -hmm. you can age it. Yep. So there's a lot of big distributors out there that have sourced whiskey. Uh, Bullet is one. Um, there's a lot of big name brands. You'd be surprised who source their whiskey um, out of MGP. Yep. So that's that is. I wouldn't even if you. There's a lot if, of brown sugar. Didn't tell me, yeah. If you didn't tell me that was a rye, no way would I say if my taste it was a rye. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. There's no way. I would never. I would guess it would be more like along the lines of a Tennessee whiskey almost. Yeah. By the sweetness. Yeah, it's I'm not, I mean, sweet. I don't know if it's corn, but I just not if I didn't know it was a rye. I don't get any pepper. <coughs> no, there's no that, I don't get that, that pepper peppery. rye. There's But honey. I, I like that in rye though. You do. There's honey. That that candy candy. Yeah. It's just like that butterscotch candy yeah like those butter like i said no it's just it's 90 sweet. proof so it's sweet. not a low proof it's not 80 proof they've went up yeah you know a little bit more i don't ABV. get a huge alcohol burn from it either no and i'm curious oh yeah mm. i'm gonna try a little water, water. Mm. oh shit uh, mm. <laughs> me, felt that right in here did you? me <laughs> typically i can't stand yeah. water and rye yeah that's true so i'm gonna give it a whirl because this isn't your typical rye. It's young, but it's uniquely aged. So, uh, see what it does. The actual it location. Does smell more rye -y a little bit with the water. You get that? It does. A yes. little bit, not bad. I like rye. It's in, technically it's, it's, <clears throat> It's in Langley, Washington, these guys are. So uh, it's on the island of Oak of um, Oak Harbor, but it's at the southern part of the island. It's got it still, it didn't hurt the nose. Yeah, it didn't. <coughs> I get, I'm getting a little bit of pepper. Honey. This time. But not, that's just not like any rye I've ever had. No, it's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's not definitely harsh unique, on which the is palate. good. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that it's unique. Yeah. It's good whiskey. It is. That's surprising for such a young yeah, whiskey. Yeah, usually the young ones, man. They're We've just, we have some oof, that are not good. Yeah. They're just grainy. They're just. To be completely honest, they're horrid. Yeah. You just can't finish them. Um, so, you can't. <clears throat> yeah. So, Whidbey Island Distillery, it's a good good distiller. Local guys, they're great. Pacific mm -hmm. Northwest, uh, over in Washington on the island. If you get a chance, um, go see them. Mike is one of the head distillers there. Jacob, he also works there on the counter. Just fantastic guys, really, really <clears throat> personable. Um, I appreciate the time they spent with me, showing me around, and uh, just awesome folks. Great place, local place. I'm looking forward to trying that rye whiskey that's got some age on it. Yeah, it'll oh, yeah. be interesting. And they're uh, wanting to do a bourbon eventually. It's just takes time, time and money, and it's a slow process. So, I'd give it a thumbs up. Oh, for sure. If it's ever in your market, which it probably isn't, um, unless you're in it's the Pacific good... Northwest. But if you get a chance to go over to the Pacific Coast <clears throat> and you're up around north of Seattle, Woodby Island, and you get out on the island, definitely go check them out. They're a teeny tiny little distillery. You walk down some stairs, walk in, there's a still. They'll show you around and uh, they'll make you feel at home. It's definitely worth a trip and picking up a bottle of their stuff and maybe some of their liqueurs if you like liqueurs. We'll be doing a review of maybe that blackberry liqueur since I bought some. Be kind of different. Yeah. It's a thumbs up. Good whiskey. Yeah, for sure. It's really good. Mm hmm. For what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought it was going to be bad. Young <laughs> and horror. <clears throat> it's <but> good. <clears throat> remember, like and subscribe. Uh, we appreciate everyone out there that has been following us forever 
Um, we have Forever. some. <laughs> yeah, we're almost at a year of this, dude. February. Wow, really? Yep. Um, but we have some folks have been following us since the very <clears> beginning, <throat> and we appreciate you guys and are grateful for you sticking with us and enjoying the videos. Mm, we hope that's what it is. You just get a kick out of us, sit and have a dram and laugh. And as always, enjoy your whiskey or bourbons any, any way, way you like. like. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.